Paella is probably one of the best known recipes from Spain. And all around the world, it now comes in all sorts of combinations. True authentic paella is made with rabbit, chicken, white beans, and green beans. Today, we're making a popular riff on paella too, with seafood. And so to be true to authentic paella, this dish is more commonly known as arroz con mariscos because it is loaded with Mediterranean seafood and all sorts of other goodies. So we'll begin to prepare that. George will get the fire started, but the one thing we can't make paella without is a paella pan. So grab yours and let's get started. All that seafood is seasoned with saffron, Spanish paprika, sea salt, and garlic. Nora chili peppers, of course, they're very special. Red bell pepper, onion, Spanish rice, tomatoes, or tomato puree, fish stock, homemade or store-bought, and extra virgin olive oil. We'll use three cups of fish stock for every one cup of rice. That amount will serve two people and then some. I'm using half homemade and half store-bought. Now add a generous pinch of saffron threads and stir to blend them in so they're well infused by the time we add it to the paella. I always prefer to buy saffron threads, not powder, because then I'm sure it's the real thing. Now place the stock pot over a low to medium heat while we prep the other ingredients. We have some slicing and dicing to do next. Begin with one half of a red bell pepper and cut it into a small dice. Do the same to a white or red onion, and finally mince some garlic. And whether you have large flat pieces or rings, cut up the calamari into small pieces and set everything aside while we make the tomato base. I happen to have large cherry tomatoes on hand, but any type will do for this base we're making with Nora chili peppers, those incredibly sweet and smoky peppers from the Alicante region where I live. I'm removing the seeds and tearing up the pieces a little bit before adding them to the mini processor. Now give everything a whirl until it's nice and saucy and you'll end up with a beautifully blended paste. The stock is hot, the ingredients are all prepped, and we're ready to head out to the fire. With your paella pan over a medium high heat, pour in some extra virgin olive oil and add the pieces of calamari. They'll take the longest to cook and get tender. Stir them around so they don't stick to the pan for a few minutes, then make space for the large shrimp. We only want the shrimp to color and start to cook before we remove them to the side. They'll be making an appearance later when we're almost finished with the paella. If the pan seems at all dry, add a bit more olive oil and then the diced onion, stirring it around for a couple of minutes to let the onion soften before we add the garlic. Now stir the garlic around just for about a minute until you can smell that incredible fragrance and add the red bell pepper along with the paprika and the salt. Let that cook for a minute or two, mix everything together well, and then we'll add our tomato paste. Just stir it until it's well incorporated with everything else. Now evenly distribute the rice and mix it in well to make sure all the grains are really well coated. And now it's time to add the stock. And you wanna add all the stock all at once and stir it around to make sure everything is really nicely blended. The total cooking time is going to be 20 minutes. So the first 10 minutes, add all the chunks of white fish Mix them in with the broth a little bit and let it go for a good 10 minutes. It should be at a solid simmer the whole time. After 10 minutes, add all the shellfish and the shrimp, the clams and the mussels and mix them in so they're evenly distributed. 
Now let it cook for five minutes without disturbing it, and then add those large shrimp back into the top of the paella and let it go for another five minutes. When you can see that the rice has absorbed most of the liquid, it's time to crank up the heat and get that flame really going to ensure that we get that classic, crusty socarat finish on the bottom of the pan. Remove it from the heat, cover it with foil for five minutes, and now the best paella you've ever had is ready to serve for lunch. And if you think this looks tasty, click on this playlist to find other great Spanish recipes to try out at home.